Okay, in this next video, I'll show you how to install the cartridge in your shell. So for the one who have uh, purchased the standard shell, you slide out its uh, sleeve, open its box, retrieve the uh, shell, and uh, first thing to do is to remove the four flip screws that hold the cover in place. So I use my uh, Phillips screwdriver but you could use the one that we provide with the, uh, the kit. When you work, I suggest you work like I am with uh, a white sheet of uh, paper. Uh, this way you have a brighter work surface and it'll be uh, clear and so we we uh, we keep away from making some errors this way we we see better uh, what we do so once the screws are uh, taken out oh before I uh, forget all your uh, metallic uh, tools make sure they're always uh, far away from the uh, cartridge as the cartridge has a magnetic uh, system inside and uh, all the metallic uh, parts will be attracted to it. So once this is done, once the screws are removed, I remove the cover. As you can see here, the way we machined our uh, base and cover, there are some small uh, guide pins make sure when you put the cover in place it goes right at its place so you don't need to uh, do any alignment it'll be done by itself when you insert it okay next step <coughs> is to make sure from factory there they should be unscrewed but you need to make sure that the three set screws are unscrewed and do not protrude from the inside like this one i've i let it i let it uh like this to show you to give you an example so but uh, from factory they should be okay they shouldn't be like this why because when you if you let them protrude from the inside when you insert insert the, uh, and slide the cartridge the rear wall will be blocked from the screw so i remove it i unscrew the screw Make sure the surface is flush for the three screws. This one will unscrew it a bit again. Okay. Once this is done, tip the base on its rear side or top side. Slide the uh, cartridge inside. You, inside. You'll see it's very uh, straightforward. It goes right in. And you make sure you can apply a bit of pressure. Make sure it it adds its uh, maximum uh, position on uh, the front wall. Now uh, the next step, you need to be careful so the cartridge doesn't slip out. What I do, I apply a bit of uh, pressure here on uh, the side wall, insert my small finger and tip the, uh, the kit on, the rev on its reverse side. I make sure that I verify that everything that the uh, the cartridge is at its uh, maximum front position. I do it carefully, not so the the cartridge doesn't tip up. So uh, I make sure it's well at, at its maximum position. And the next step is to put back on the um, the cover. When you manipulate this way, always keep in mind that uh, you can. Uh, the, car, the cantilever is underneath and you can uh, break it. So calculate all your uh, your movements. I insert the four, I insert back the four flip screws. Now what's important to mention here, two things. As you can see, where the uh, when when the cartridge was in place, 
it holds laterally and uh, front to rear as it's on its side it has been tightly machined so the cartridge doesn't move the way our system holds the cartridge is by the pressure applied from the cover to the cartridge and the screws the three set screws are only there for tuning the sound now once this is done I can screw without tightening right now I only screw the screws in place I'll apply the pressure at the end what you can do here like most in the case when you uh, have multiple screws you can grow go as in a crossway method um, do not apply too much pressure it's unnecessary just be reasonable with the tension or torque you apply on the screws same thing on the three tuning screws if you tighten uh, even though our the metals we use is very rigid if you apply too much uh, pressure you may damage the the fragile not fragile but uh, the smaller threads so once this is done uh, you are ready to install the MusicAF shell kit on your turntable thank you